I'm Dan and welcome to the Airbrush Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you a Fortress air compressor from Harbor Freight. I'm not sponsored by Fortress or any of the products that I have in these videos, but I really do like this compressor. Did a little research on it. Um, got some, you know, did a lot of review search on it. It is a very quiet compressor. I think you're going to be really impressed when you hear it, so stick around. So if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell so you get future notifications. Leave me some comments, good or bad. Don't forget to check out all my Amazon affiliate links and the link for this compressor down below. With that, let's get started. All right, so we got it out of the box. I put it up here on the bench so you get a closer look at it. it comes with a, you know, a manual, of course. It's the Fortress Ultra Quiet Series. Oil-free portable air compressor. It has a 0.5 horsepower motor. 0.7 SCFM. I didn't know what the S meant. I'm used to just cubic feet per minute, but it means standard cubic feet per minute at 90 PSI. 135 PSI total, and it's a one gallon tank. It's, it says it's 80% quieter than the average compressor. And when you hear this thing, I think you'll believe it. Its noise level is 57 decibels, which is, again, ultra quiet. So let's turn it on. We got the airbrush hooked up to it and let's check it out. So I got the airbrush hooked up. We'll turn it on. I'm going to check it out. We're going to time how long it takes to fill the tank. All right, we're back. So it took about a minute and a half to fill the tank. So it comes with your regulator right here. There's no need to pull or push or pull this regulator. You can just turn the regulator. I'm gonna set it at about 30 PSI. I'm gonna go over here and grab an airbrush. And we're gonna test how long this tank is gonna last at 30 PSI before it starts to recover. Well, there you have it. You can hear how quiet it was. So it lasted about a little over a minute of just constant air at 30 PSI before the tank recovered and it recovered in probably in about 15 to 20 seconds. So very quick recovery. All in all, really, really like this air uh, compressor. It has a little bit of weight to it. As you can see, I can carry it with one hand, okay? And it's portable. It has a nice little handle on here, nice little rubber handle. It's got some nice little rubber uh, shoes on the bottom to keep it nice and, uh, you know, steady on the ground. Uh, that was one of the problems a lot of times with the airbrush compressors that I have is they just come with little suction cups on the bottom. And sometimes they like to vibrate across the floor a little bit. Um, but with something like this, with the weight of it and the rubber shoes on the bottom, it stays, you know, stays put. The other thing it has is uh, you got your regulator, obviously, over on this side um, and your PSI on the other side. And then it has your, you know, nice, convenient. I really like this part, too. Most compressors, even the airbrush compressor that I have, has a valve down underneath. A lot of people don't even know it's there. OK, um, but it's there. And anything with a tank is going to have a valve because it's going to get condensation in it and you're going to need to drain it. So this one is really cool. It's just right here. It has a nice little plastic valve on it. It's out in the open so somebody can say, hey, what is that? Believe it or not, you wouldn't believe that the people and myself sometimes when I first got you know, going and uh, getting into compressors and stuff, I didn't even realize there was a valve underneath there until I heard water in the tank. And I'm thinking, oh, wait, it's a tank. It needs a valve. Well, this one's right out here for you. And it's real convenient. A lot of them have that little uh, round screw valve on the bottom. Um, that is you know, sometimes cumbersome to even get at. This is nice and right out in the open. And then right here, you can just relive it. So as you can see where the switch was, switch was right there. All in all, great compressor. Uh, the best part about this compressor 
is it was $160 with my member discount. I got it for $109, $109. I'll say that again, $109. Fantastic compressor for $109. You won't be sorry. Well, there you have it. Who says you got to go spending a lot of money to get a great product? That I expect to be in the garage for many, many years to come and airbrush a whole lot of things with it for $109. You just can't beat it. Go check it out. Don't take my word for it. Do your research. With that, I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember, subscribe, comments. You know the drill. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Keep on airbrushing.